have here an expansion for the X-Wing Miniatures game. This is a large ship expansion. It is a Rebel Transport. So you get the Rebel Transport similar to the one they uh, that send off that they uh, escape from Hoth with when the Empire attacks and you have a X-Wing there with it. Looks like it may be a Gold Squadron X-Wing from that tip on the nose. So you can see even though it's just ships you get quite a bit of cards here. Looks like there's going to be some uh, new tokens in there. So we'll open it up and take a look at it. So you have a large stand here. It's a big ship, but I don't know, even though it's got a lot of length to it, I don't know how much bigger it is than that, an actual, uh, like the Millennium Falcon or the Slave One expansions they did. It's like it may be a little more plastic to it, but it's not, since it's not to scale, it's not gonna be a huge, So you can see it's uh, almost like it's got a little, bunch of little cargo modules under it. You can see keeping up with the nice paint jobs on these. It's like maybe you got a little command deck there that looks like it's gonna be subject to break. Or maybe that's a shuttle. Not a lot of weight to it, even though it is big. And then you have the X Wing here. And we're going to get a lot of flops out of the way. really packaged for the retail shelf a lot of open space really just to display the product so you're gonna get it's gonna sit on two of these large bases these look to be about the same size as the slave one and uh, Millennium Falcon I haven't had them out in a while so I'm not positive you can see on the bottom it has two points with which to attach it You've got that standard triangle, and then on the back, you also have a standard triangle that's just recessed a little more for it to fit into those bases. You're going to get the expansion rule book here, and this is going to have components. You can see there's a lot of tokens and stuff in this. It's going to show you how to assemble it go through the new rules give you an example of some of the new maneuvers looks like it uses new maneuver dials and maneuver templates still have uh, more rules on how it attacks and use it looks like some generic huge ship rules on this page looks like you get uh, an evacuation of Hoth scenario There's a, like a roster sheet in here that I'll show in a minute that uh, kind of maybe to make up, maybe you can photocopy that. And you have uh, Mission H1 evacuation, block, blockade run, and then the asteroid gauntlet, and Mission 8 is a rendezvous mission so that's not part of the Hoth mission I don't think and then you get the maneuver set there for the uh, transport you have the two stands that are going to fit into the base there 
see they have kind of a little, it's hard to focus on the clear. You see how they're going to lock into the bottom and then the triangle piece will lock into the top. We have these roster sheets here. Zoom the wrong way, that's good. So you can see for mission one, two, and three. And then on the back, it's just the same thing. That's the Imperial one. And then you have one here for... the uh, Rebels. A little bit different layout to those. And the last thing you're going to have is this baggie of components. Well, you also get the stand for the X one. So you can see you have the ship tiles here. It has two star field tiles to cover up for each of those stands. But you see it's one big piece connected, so you have the stats here for the ship and the little symbols. And then this one's just blank cover. And you see it's just a GR-75 medium transport. Then you have the X-Wing. And you have Hobby Clivian as a pilot, Jack Porkins as a pilot, Wes Jansen as a pilot, and Tarn Misson as a pilot. On the back, she got some Red Squadron rookie and rookie pilots. Looks like we have a movement dial for the X-Wing and the GR-75. Looks like maybe some lock-ons with the U, stress tokens, shield tokens. I'm not sure what this token is. Too many tokens on the list to try to look through it while doing a video. You have some of these tokens. I don't know if that's a heavier weapon that can be shot. Looks like we have some maneuver dial here. Uh, have some other little tokens. Some little designation tokens here. These look like they're some sort of deployable, but they have different results on the bottom of them. Some other little tokens. Sorry I don't know what these are, but without reading through the whole book, some of them I just don't recognize. Let me see you have some more other generic tokens that let you do the different skills, shield, lock on, stress more of these little weapon looking tokens these are a unique looking token there these look to be some sort of scanner they're labeled a b c and d so they maybe correspond with these so maybe it's some sort of ship to ship ability on the back they just have a star field on them and these are green red on the back and I'm uh, missing the cards. There they are. So you have your two little locked together clips for your movement dials and a package of cards. So you need the cards for the transport. So these are some little skill for the transport, those purple tokens. Wes Jansen, Jack Porkins, Hobby Clivian. Tarn Masson, Red Squadron Pilot, Rookie Pilot, and Nyan Token Explanation Card. And we have some other upgrade cards. We have an R3A2, R2D6, R4D6, R5P9, Flechette Torpedoes, Wed 15 Repair Droid. Torin Fire, Carla Streakin, Jan Dadana, Expanded Cargo Hold, Tabana Gas Supply, Comms Booster, 
frequency jammer, backup shield generator, engine booster, EM emitter, shield projector, slicer tools, bright hope, quantum storm, duty free, combat retrofit. So a lot of those look like they're going to be upgrades for the GR75. And then these are some sort of one, two, three. These are going to be damaged cars forward and aft. You can see there they have the different areas highlighted to show you. But you got command pod casualties, reactor leak, projector power failure, reactor cow rupture, engine damage, hull breach, broadcast malfunction, secondary drive failure. So a lot of stuff that's going to damage that big transport. But that's everything that's going to come in the Rebel Transport expansion pack for the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game by Fantasy Flight Games.